Hello everyone, and welcome back to another A1 Crash Survival. Uh, over the past... Uh, good half week or so, I have uh, come to the realization that it is hard to uh, run and maintain my shop. And... Uh, Despite the fact that I do have items that can go in the uh, thing, including an auto, including an auto smelter now that uh, that nuclear toilet and I worked on uh, Friday night, we worked on expansion, and she did the uh, 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 auto smelter right there last night. But yeah, so we worked on this little, these little rooms right here, where it basically acts as extra storage, and uh, yeah, so let me show you how they work, because I am going to ask the people that I know and trust first to help me out with the shop. And then, uh, which I'm hoping to get a few people uh, afterward. So you uh, basically, okay. So I'm gonna, okay. So say this, the shears are white wool, right? You just take that, you put it in there, and then watch. Let me go around to the white wool chest. And you see there's shears there. So, because of the fact that I can only open these chests because they're to my name, that's how anyone that's working on the shop can uh, uh, help out. So, uh, a little bit of. So, I have a little bit of a list in mind of the people that I'd want. To help me out and that I can trust uh, pretty much straight off and I don't really want to pay these people I'm just kind of hoping that they volunteer do stuff but yeah so um, I am hoping for mob attack right here or emerald which the last one was about him uh, emerald or uh, I know nuclear toilet's gonna help out. Uh, another person that I trust is a uh, breachin. Uh, that's a good guy that I trust through nuclear toilet. Plus, I've had conversation with with him, and he seems like a nice guy. I know like quite a few of you on the server will disagree, but that's that's okay. And then, uh, man, this was a shorter list than I thought. Okay, um, then I have, uh, let's see, who have I done a video with? Yes, I don't know if I seal is going to, uh, uh, watch this, but she wants to help out too. I mean, that's fine. And I find it creepy that Mob Attack is just following me around. <sighs> Hold on, I need to go to my auto smelter. Yeah, I type in dash JPG um, off camera. It's just a habit of mine, I guess. And yeah, I just open up the door. Auto smelter. <laughs> Output chest, there we go. And there we go. You know, I do find it weird that mobs just following me around. So, yeah, mob attack is one of the people I trust uh, first. And then, uh, Emerald. And then nuclear toilet's gonna help me out. And then, um. 
Breachin is someone that I wouldn't mind getting help from, and I know I'm gonna get a little bit of heat for that because he was involved in some drama a while ago. Yeah, so... And then Nuclear Toilet's gonna help me out. So, uh, so in terms of the buying the chests, uh, okay, so each time someone buys a baked potato, uh, four more from the hopper right there, you see that other hopper, uh, the far one, uh, that will, uh, hoppers have, uh, five lines in them, and that first one will go to 60 in one of them, and then this one will go to 60, and then this one will go to, uh, uh, 14. Sorry, I just had to think. Sorry about my uhs. But yeah, so... Yes, I know. So, watch it. It, uh, it will drain. It will drain itself to the uh, thingy. I don't know, sick and tired. Oh, also... Also, if any of the staff members would like to help out for any reason, like, I've spoken to Jennifer in Skype calls, in a massive Skype call once, and she seems like a nice person, and someone that I would, wouldn't mind to be enlisted as a volunteer. Burrito sounds like a nice, or seems like a nice person, but I haven't Skyped with him yet. Uh, but yeah, any of the... Staff members uh, also would like to help. Uh, anyone else that would like to help? I have a few names that I have in mind. A few other names, quite possibly. But, yeah. I just... Are you trying to close that on me? But, yeah, so... Um... Those are just kind of, quote-unquote, on the bubble of whether or not I'm going to get those people. And if any of the other people that I'm not thinking of, which you don't know if you're one of those people, but you will have to uh, exchange your Skype with me, and I will have to conduct a little bit of an interview with you, you know, just, uh, I know it'll take some of my time, but, <sighs> but I am, excuse me, but I am willing to put forth the time, if you're willing to put forth the time in my shop to interview you, despite the fact that my Thanksgiving is going to be busy, uh, my Christmas is going to be busy, so those are times, especially whenever I'm going to need help. So, yeah, and I'm also hoping to not pay you, or just pay you just one flat fee of an X amount of dollars. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't thought of payment because I just kind of want non-profit, or mm, I don't think non-profit would work in that case, but still, people that don't mind working for, or putting forth the time for nothing. But hey, you will be greatly appreciated regardless. If you want to get paid or not, you will be appreciated and hey, you'll be able to help out a YouTuber that kind of needs the help. Oh yeah, see, there's... Yep, there's... See, it'll go in this hopper, and once you take stuff out of the hopper, see, it drains from the hopper. You see that? So that's how that works. Mob attack's probably going to be like, why did you ignore me? He's probably going to be like that later on. Might just Skype him later on. Ask him right then and there. 
if he wouldn't mind helping out. But I'm gonna enlist, uh, but I'm gonna get, like, not one person, but I'm gonna get, I'm hoping to get two or three people. Four is the limit that I will go, but not any more than four, because that's just going to be too many cooks in the kitchen, metaphorically speaking. Where is that spider? Oh. I could hear this thing from all the way over there. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Mob Attack and Emerald would wouldn't mind doing it. So there's those two knocked out, or there's those uh, things knocked out there with the case of getting. A couple of people because you know I want to get more than one person based on the fact that uh, I might need some wood at some point and that person that I got to help me out with my shop just needs the wood too so there's no more wood for the people that need to get it so uh, I will be on tomorrow uh, for a little bit of time, and Tuesday for a little bit of time. After school ends, to uh, check up on these things. And, yeah, the thing is that with the uh, people that I don't exactly trust, and that maybe want to help out... I will need to technically interview you due to the fact that you will be claimed to, or because you will be trusted to my house and everything in it. So I don't want you to take the stuff in my house at all. I mean, it's not like... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not singling out any single person. I'm just saying that I don't want me to come on at some point in the future and all my stuff be gone. And that would suck because I wouldn't know who it was and I bet I wouldn't be able to get it all back. But yes, we can conduct a private Skype interview if you would like to help out and just ask. Just ask first in case you are one of those people that I'm thinking about on the borderline. Because I know that there are a couple of people. But yeah, if Mob Attack, Emerald, uh, I'm thinking about Base too. You know, like Base Crasher. But yeah, Mob Attack, Emerald, Nuclear. Uh, nuclear is going to help out. I was talking to her last night. Or hopefully. Yeah, she's up to it. Uh, I see if she's even on. Or uh, whatever she's called. But she's busy with stuff normally, I think. <sighs> but, uh, yeah breaching as well. Yeah, I know I'm going to get a little bit of backlash for saying that, but I know that breaching is a friendly person through nuclear and uh, just talking to him. And the staff members would like like to help too. I will have that because they are already technically trusted by the server, technically. Because if they weren't loyal or... 
uh, hell, you know what I mean by the server. I mean, I don't think a moderator or an admin's just gonna. Is gonna grief anything or just take anything or just uh, make my trust just not work. So, yes, guys, um, I know that this doesn't apply to anyone outside of the server, but I know that quite a few of the people on the server watch my videos. And thus, they would get the message. <sighs> but yeah. <sighs> I just have to do this because running my shop is becoming difficult. Even on like a normal week. Uh, whenever I don't have Thanksgiving or a holiday to worry about. I mean, it's just somewhat hard to just run my shop and just constantly supply everything. That is a little bit difficult for me. And it does take its toll. <laughs> so yes, if I do see so yes, um, I would like to see my money of 127 and a half K just grow exponentially. Yeah, I'm like always out of glowstone. That's the one thing that I need the most out of my quote unquote volunteers if you do decide to help out. But the people that like Mob Attack, Emerald, uh, you know, those people, they have to tell me that they are. So that I don't look and that there's something weird going on. So that I don't see them looking in the chest. I'm like, what are you doing? So, yeah. <sighs> okay, just stock my shop a little bit more. Watch it drain. Watch it drain. Oh, yeah. So that's really how that works. So you just need to... I go into that back room, access the chest, and just slap it in there. Because only I can access these chests. That's why there's the second room. And we put a, se a nuclear and I put a second room back there, just so that no uh, no one that's not trusted can just put crap and just junk in the hoppers that shouldn't be in there. I mean, if you want to get rid of your junk, just wait for a clear lag. Just just don't put your junk in here. Just put actual donations in there. I mean, I've been seeing some donations of just absolute garbage. Oh yeah, I need to restock this. Oh yeah, drain it. Oh yeah! Okay, guys, um, I know this wasn't the type of video for anyone outside of YouTube, or outside of the A1 Craft community, but this will definitely help. This will definitely help if I could get two or three people to help out with my shop during the holidays because I got family coming over Thursday and Friday and thus I won't be able to really log on on those two days so and I'm kinda of the only one working on my shop right now so yeah or maintaining it at the moment but anyone has the ability and yeah you will have to tell me that you want to help out, even if you're on my trust list, technically, because I'll still need to trust you to the, uh, to the claim land.
because otherwise you cannot access the chest back there. You cannot open the doors with the buttons. But mob attack can, from what I see. So, But regardless, though, you have to tell me that you're willing to help out so that I'm not worried about anything, so that I'm not concerned about anything, about you maybe going in, doing all that. So if you're not on my trust list and you wish to help out, then we'll have to Skype, do an interview. Uh, yeah, I'll have to interview you. <sighs> because we're not doing it over private messages. You know, direct messages. On, uh, in-game. Are you kidding me? Do I want to spend, like... A half hour typing stuff? Straight? No. Are you kidding? But I'll spend a half hour straight talking, like I have for the past 21 and a half minutes. So yes, guys, I do believe that that will do it for this A1 Craft Survival. And yeah, I need help with my shop. I mean, that's just... I just need help. So yes, guys, that will do it for this A1 Craft Survival. And till the next... A1 Crash Survival, I will see y'all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.